Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Hartzell Propeller acquires Tannis Aircraft Products, also United Electrifies its future, and, and artistic yet functional Meteor Maps Minis unveiled. Happy Wednesday. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode with the latest news, so let's go ahead and start with Hartzell Propeller acquires Tannis Aircraft Products. Hartzell Propeller has purchased the assets of Tannis Aircraft Products, who have made their name in engine preheat systems for fixed and rotary wing aircraft. Tannis will become part of Hartzell Propeller's heated products, which now include systems for propeller de-ice, piston engine preheat, turbine engine preheat, helicopter preheat, battery avionics, and cabin preheat. Tannis Aircraft Products President and CEO Douglas Evink will become Hartzell Propeller VP of Sales for Tannis. Tannis Engineering, Sales, and Administrative staff will stay near the Anoka County Airport, Minneapolis. Tannis Manufacturing Operations will be integrated into Hartzell Heated Products Portfolio in Piqua, Ohio. Tannis has a wide range of piston engine preheat products, including kits for engines from manufacturers Ostro, Continental, Franklin, Jabiru, Jacobs, Lycoming, Rodax, and more. Tannis also offers turbine preheat kits and systems for all major engine manufacturers, including Honeywell, Pratt & Whitney, Rolls-Royce, and more. Tannis turbine engine preheat systems are approved for many aircraft models, including PC-12, PC-12-470E, Dash 47E, and DHC-6 Viking. In addition, Tannis produces preconditioning systems for oil cooler, fuel control units, mod motors, and hydraulics units. Tannis preheat products include kits and systems for most helicopter manufacturers. A Tannis multipoint preheat system thoroughly heat soaks engines. This keeps the metal above dew point, removing the chance for condensation. After the break, new changes to Kit Adventure. I'll explain after these messages. Air Venture may be your destination, but shouldn't you also have a great experience during your flight to and from? Battle Creek Executive Airport is the home of Waco Aircraft, the world's leader in new production sport biplanes. Enjoy a beautiful new FBO, extreme fuel discounts, a glimpse into Waco's manufacturing facility, and the gourmet Waco Kitchen, an upscale dining experience serving farm to table American European fusion cuisine. Experience Air Venture. Experience Waco. We'll see you on the ramp at KBTL. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The FAA is adopting a new airworthiness directive for all True Flight Holdings LLC models AA1, AA1A, AA1B, AA1C, and AA5 airplanes. This AD was prompted by a report of an accident of an airplane exhibiting bond-lined corrosion and delamination of the horizontal stabilizers. This AD requires inspecting the horizontal stabilizers, including the bond lines for cracks, buckles, corrosions, delamination, rust, and previous repair, and repairing or replacing parts and applying corrosion inhibitor as necessary. This AD is effective starting July 27th. Thanks to the pandemic, changes have been made for Kid Venture. Due to travel restrictions and COVID precautions, EAA tells us that Kid Venture 2021 will look a little bit different. To prepare, regular operations for Pioneer Airport will halt on July 21st and resume on August 4th. During Air Venture, Pioneer Airport gets transformed into Heaven on Earth for aviation-loving kids. 
With free admission to Air Venture for kids 18 and under, EAA has prepared a wide variety of activities and learning experiences. To spread attendees out, 11 tents are being placed around the Pioneer Airport grounds along with the permanent hangar residing there. Embraer scores massive E-195-E2 airliner order. Porter Airlines has disclosed plans to extend its service to destinations throughout North America with a firm order of 30 Embraer E-195-E2 jets, with purchase rights for further 50 aircraft. The deal will be included in Embraer's second quarter backlog, and it's worth about $5.82 billion, a list price, with all options exercised. First revealed in May 2021, this announcement adds the purchase rights and the customer's name, which has been undisclosed. Porter Airlines will be the North American launch customer for Embraer's newest family of jets, the E-2. Yamaha and Shin Meiwa to research next generation small aircraft. There may be a new player coming to the sport and GA scene. Maybe. Yamaha Motor Corps and Shin Meiwa Industries have been circulating news of an agreement they have signed for the joint research of a next-generation small aircraft. According to this agreement, Yamaha will explore avenues for adapting its small engine technologies to the aviation industry, while Shin Meiwa will offer its aircraft engineering technologies and expertise for small aircraft. They have acquired a high-wing LSA design to start building some experience in the genre. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now's return to the rest of the news. United electrifies its future. Invest in Hart Aerospace's ES-19. United Airline Ventures, along with Breakthrough Energy Ventures and Mesa Airlines, has made an investment in electric aircraft startup Hart Aerospace. Hart Aerospace is developing the ES-19 a 19-seat electric aircraft that has the potential to fly customers up to 250 miles before the end of this decade. In addition to UAV's investment, United Airlines has conditionally agreed to purchase 100 ES-19 aircraft once the aircraft meets United's safety, business and operating requirements. Mesa Airlines, United's key strategic partner in bringing electric aircraft into commercial service, has also agreed to add 100 ES-19 aircraft to its fleet, subject to similar requirements. UAV and BEV are among the first investors in Hart Aerospace, creating potential for Hart to fast-track the ES-19 introduction to market as early as 2026. By utilizing electric motors instead of jet engines and batteries instead of jet fuel, Hart's ES-19 aircraft will have zero operational emissions. Seating 19 passengers, the ES-19 aircraft will also be larger than any of its all-electric competitors and will be designed to operate on the same types of batteries used in electric cars. After these messages, MeetOurMaps.com has added a completely new product line. Details after the break. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical, with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. 
Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back, artistic yet functional. Metar Maps Mini is unveiled. MetarMaps.com has added a completely new product line to their existing portfolio of distinctive aviation weather maps. Metar Maps Minis have now been added to their list of amazing functional aviation wall art. Bringing the latest in miniaturized electronics and state-of-the-art printing process, Minis are based on 28 terminal area charts and displays in 12 by 12 format. The results are stunning. Weather information is individually presented for each airport using the four standard FAA flight category colors. Green, VFR, Blue, MVFR, Red, IFR, Magenta, LIFR, and all the functionality of version 3 is included. These Mini-Me's reportedly pack the same quality and functionality as their larger units. Mini's can hang on the wall or be displayed on your desk with an optional desk stand. You'll be able to see things for yourself at AirVenture in less than two weeks. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with store ideas or just to say hi. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.